get that money, dummy, do it for the love And I'm hungry, did I mention I'm money? Cop cars, now I need that airplane money Harley laugh in the ghetto, being broke ain't funny We built for this homie, yeah, we run the streets You see me everywhere, Judah, tucking the heat I'm Yo, here. I rap for the hustlers, put my life on this beat We all we got the next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Michael Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao's son. He uh, dropped a song, a track, and we're going to review the track well, somewhat live with you on Boxing Bros. Yeah, he look just like his pops. <laughs> Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao's son, uh, his song. G, what are your thoughts on the track? All right. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, uh, all right. Not my cup of tea. <laughs> but, I, yo, listen, before I hate, I'm a compliment, right? Because I, I guarantee you this is going to be constructive. I was, at first, I was like, nah, it's basic. But then at the end of that video, when he was talking, I was impressed at the fact that he mimicked an American style of rap well, where I didn't even know he had, like, a foreign accent, you know? So when he was doing the song, I was pretty impressed. But then it made sense because he has a line in the hook. I don't know if y'all were paying attention. I don't want to play with me. No way. Yes. I'm like... What does that even mean, family? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to play with me. It was, I, I think he meant to say, I don't like, I don't want you to play with me no way, or you know, I don't want to play with you no way. But I'm like, I don't want to play with me no way. I'm like, this don't make no sense. But at the end of the video, I'm like, all right, kind of makes sense. If that ball went over your head, that ball went over your head, man. Yo, maybe it did. Yo, hey, man. <laughs> it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's cool. Ned about to break it down for me. You know, Ned's been on the road today with, with Boxing Mania. So, hey, you know what? Hey, but I'll say this. I am impressed at the fact that he could put a song together like that, especially seeing that he's not an American. So, kudos to, the, to him. But when the verses came, I was like, yo, them verses were kind of basic to me. I wasn't really, like, impressed. By the lyricism, but I did enjoy the flow. He rode the beat well, but the hook just bothers me because of that that the opening statement. I don't <laughs> play, no way, like play with me, no way. Like, what are we talking about here? You know what I'm saying? So it went over your head, G. It went over my head. Ned, it, it, it is a surprise to It's not surprising to me. That ball went over your head, G. All right, we about to find out. Go ahead, man. School me. Yo, first, I want to say, yo, that, 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 shout out to Michael Pacquiao, man. He did that live. So, you know, it wasn't no recording. It's not like we listened to um, Adrian Brown drop us in on his Instagram of, the, you know, the Forge List track where it's pre recorded and we listened to it. It was pre recorded. We didn't do that live. It, it said live at the, what, what was it? Was it? Live, like lip syncing something he pre recorded. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man. Man, he really he was alive. I, said, I feel you on that. I, I thought he also did it live. I was like, damn, <laughs> really just but did he really do it live? If he really did it live, I give him 
more credit, but it's live. So I, took, I I believe what that said. It said live, so I was like, damn. Yeah. Yeah. He, he got he, he didn't slip up with the lips. I don't know how many takes it took. Yeah, yeah. I don't know live. He did it. it to me, it looked like it was one take, and it was that take was dope. <laughs> he did one take. Well, <laughs> I don't know that. When it's a million dollar question. Play with me. Hold on, hold on man. Hold I on. don't want to play with me no wait, way. Wait, wait, wait. Before we get into that, I need to see if this. Do y'all think he's saying it's live? No, you know what? It sounds like a, a recording. You right. Pre recorded, right? Exactly. Yeah, he, played he played me. He played me. Yeah. But salute to the cameraman, anyway. You know? Yeah. What but, is it? Like, I don't want the lyric, man. With me Explain it. Way. Break it down over my head. Bro, he's so bad. He don't even want to get. He, he don't. Even, if, it, if he had to face himself, he don't even want to face himself. Yo, that's how bad he is. You know? yeah. yeah. You get it? Yeah. I don't want to play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. All right, got you. That's how I took the lyric. Bars. Yeah. 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 You know I, mean? I don't play with myself like that, so hey, it's all right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, you muted, Ned. You muted yourself. Oh, my bad. I guess because he doesn't want to cuss and things like that of that nature. You know how um how his family is religious and things like that. He tried to keep a clean track, and he tried to go the route without cussing and more 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 family friendly um song. That's why you know the lyricism like it is kind of like weak bars, but I, I respect it. Oh, it so you cool. swear to have good bars? That's no, no, no. It was just like you know, there's there's some rappers that I, I don't know, man. I, you, you just lost me with that, but you know, I you lost know, you. Rappers you don't swear. <laughs> there's rappers who don't swear who who spit, but you know he's young, he's getting there, you know. But there's some rappers that like, like it's more like, like you, you hear you feel it when they cussing their songs. So that's all. Even you say sometimes, you know, what's that? What's that? Sometimes you gotta say a mother F so mother F is hear me or something like that. I don't know if I yeah, butchered it. Warren Hill verse. Huh? All my logic and my theory. I add a mother F so ignorant to me. Yeah. That's Warren Hill. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yo, yo, I, I said I might have butchered it first. Hey, 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 do you see what just happened here? I don't want to play with me no way it went over your head. Right? But right. Lauren right. Hill's bars went over Ned's. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, 2020, man, it's dangerous for rap. You know what I'm saying? You got it. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. Oh, that's crazy, oh, man. man. <laughs> yeah, man, that was my take. Yo, he did good, though. Shout out to Michael Pacquiao, man. Keep doing your thing, man. You, you, you got your crowd already. You got five million views on that track already. You know, it's very difficult. I always thought about these things, like not as a kid, but uh, when I was younger, um, you know, I went to a middle school where there were a lot of uh, Cape Verdean students and they were learning English as a second language. And they would come in and they would, you know, cause my classroom was one of the only classrooms that had a water bubbler in it. Yeah, so like when you go to school in the hood, like, there are only a few classrooms that had a water bubbler in it. And I was in the classroom where they wanted us to leave the class, you know, as less as part. Like, they wanted us to stay in that room. I was in a room with, where the water bubbler, hell, if they could put a bathroom in our classroom, we would have had one in there, too. That's, they, they didn't want us leaving that classroom. So um, people would come to our class and ask for uh, water. And, like, they would ask for water sometimes. And some of them... You know, they come and say, may I, may I have some water, please? And some of them will come in and say, like, can I get water? And then I would say, like, no. <laughs> like, because they never say please. And, and they and I have the water, please. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, because I, because if I asked that way, they would tell me no. I had to say, you know, may I have some water, please. If I would have said, can I get water, they would tell me no. So I would tell them no. And basically, what ended up happening was, I realized as I got older, it's more difficult when you're learning a second language to get everything right or to say everything right. And so basically to see him rap and do what he did, it's impressive to me 
because I know that English isn't his first language. It's his second language. And so it'll be unfair for me to hold him to the same standard as someone who learned English as, it's pro as their primary language. For English to be a second language and for him to make that track is very impressive. Now, of course, if he had ghostwriters and he had like reference tracks, he probably could make a dope, a dope song. I think he has potential. I think, um, you know, Pacquiao can use his influence to uh, get some, some real talented uh, producers and songwriters behind him if that's the route he wants to go. But if he did that on his own, to me, that's impressive. Um, like holding it to the rapper standard that like I would hold another rapper to, yes, there are things he needs to work on. He needs to work on his lyrics um, for starters. Um, mainly just subject, like he bounces from subject to subject a lot and putting together a song, you probably don't want to do that, but um, just based off of that song and his delivery was good. He was able to ride the beat. Those are all the main things. Like and you could appear to be one take, you know? Like yeah, you can you can write better lyrics, like the as you get better. And also like I don't know how well he knows English, like you know, his vocabulary and how many words he knows in English. Like for example, if I go if I use Duolingo, which is like an app that helps you learn another language, if I go on Duolingo and um, I'm messing around on Duolingo, it says I'm 30% fluent in Spanish, right? 30%. That means there's 70% 70 70 of the words in Spanish I don't know. <laughs> like, and that's just according to this Duolingo thing, you know? So I don't know. How, how many English words he knows to put that rap together. So for me, um, I think it's impressive. I think if he really wants to blow up, get a ghost rider and put Manny Pacquiao on the hook. And then you got to hit. <laughs> he wants to be his own man, though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like, man. See, this, this you being don't want his daddy taking his shine, you know? This being old man stuff is overrated. Nah, Michael Pacquiao, <laughs> get Drizzy on the hook. You know what I'm saying? You get Drizzy on the hook, you gonna fuck him, baby. You know? <laughs> hey, listen, man. I don't know. You, you, his dad's Manny Pacquiao. His name is Michael Pacquiao. Like, I don't know how much of his own man he's expected to be. <laughs> and he looked like Manny Pacquiao. Like, out of all of them, he looks like Manny Pacquiao the most to me. <laughs> Definitely look like Manny Pacquiao, so he can't <laughs> He gonna live in his daddy's shadow forever. Exactly. It doesn't matter what he does. People are gonna be like, "You look like me. You look like me." <laughs> you only, you only went platinum because your daddy helped you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's nothing he can do, man. It's like Diddy's son. What's Diddy's son's on name? It don't matter. Diddy's son. You see what I'm saying? That's my oh. point. You know, they, they treat you like well, Diddy's thing. In everything, typically if you have successful parents or if you have unsuccessful parents, it's going to impact what you're able to accomplish in life. And so like, even if you look at someone who accomplishes great things, despite having bad parents, like that adversity that, that created that great. Exactly. Um, if they accomplish great things because they have great parents and they had a lot of privileges. Yeah, they had opportunity. You know, so, but to me, why is there anything wrong with that? Like, I never understood that, mainly because I, I came from the mud, so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, when, when wealthy people would be like, I don't need my parents' money. Like, yo, shut up. You already benefited your whole exactly. life. Exactly. Like, what are you talking about? You, 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 you had the education. You were able to eat at night. You were able to sleep right. at night. You were able to do, and then you get to this point where it's like, I want to be my own person. Your whole life, you you are just too down. It's it sounds cute. <laughs> <laughs> I never got that. Like I refuse to accept that trust fund. Like what? Like, if I came from like someone who came from the mud, That's and, awesome. and I work hard to accomplish things, if I have a kid and they and they say like, oh, yeah. I, I, don't, I, don't I don't believe this. Man. Person, I don't I don't Boston Bros, we know. Off of all the food that I ever gave you, all the sleep. Like get the hell out of here. It's just, I don't want. It. <laughs> it's, a, it's a slap in the face to a parent like Manny Pacquiao who worked so hard to get his son everything he never had. So 
just if you if you come from a good home, don't be ashamed of that. Just recognize that you're fortunate and just don't look down on other people who aren't as fortunate as you. But that's don't let Pacquiao be like, I don't want to play with me no way. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody, please like, share, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to check us out on all major uh, podcast platforms. It's the Boxing Bros. I'm my own man. I want to see what's on your mind. I want to see what's on my mind. Pippin' all the time. I want to know if you want to be mine. You want to know if you can be mine. Pippin' all the time. I want to see what's on your mind. You want to see what's on my mind. Pippin' all the time. I want to know if you want to be mine.